are heading, where are we going? Mount Rushmore this morning, and then hopefully ending up in Yellowstone tonight. We've picked up a new passenger along the way, or not, not passenger, new driver along the way. Mr. Michael Dobbins. Texas Dobbins on Instagram. What's up, y'all? Super excited to have him. He's one of our best friends. He's driving an AMG GT, which is probably going to be the fastest car here, but we're going to find out as soon as we get to Mexico. Go into that. What's it called? It's called the Conoco. We believe in sheets. My tire is down to 20 PSI and has leaked 12 PSI overnight. What's going on? Lost 12 PSI overnight, man. Not good. Um, yeah, so my car's a pile of crap. And for whatever reason, the bumper decided it wanted to start falling off. I don't know if we hit something or, or what's going on, but uh, it's great. Good for aerodynamics. I figured it out. So I, I couldn't do a donut, which was really depressing to me. And I thought that the car was doing weird stuff. I couldn't turn traction control all the way off like I could in my old Hellcat or not as easily. Just to be able to hit the button twice and hold it. And this time it wasn't working, but you have to be stopped apparently for that to happen. I, I swear in my last Hellcat you could do that when you were moving. I'm pretty sure. So we're gonna try it now that it actually turns off. Air machine there, I could put some air in real yeah. quick. So do you see where that black car okay. is? Okay. Yeah. The man at discount tire didn't want to fix it quickly. We need to roll, we can't wait around for a couple hours, like you mentioned. So we offered to bribe him, but he didn't like that idea. So we're going to somewhere else. We're gonna put air in it, we're gonna drive it to Rushmore, and we'll figure it out. Off to Rushmore. John? Sir, in your own words, can you tell me what's going on? It would appear that our fearless leader in the uh, Charger Hellcat has been pulled over for speeding. We have yet to know the outcome of this incident and are patiently waiting for our companion to join the group again. He said if we'd have just went north to see the big boy, this wouldn't have happened. <laughs> Sir, in your, your own words, what happened? Somebody called us in leaving Newcastle for drag racing and traveling at a very high rate of speed. He could have gotten all of us for drag racing. He didn't get us for drag racing. He got me for 96 and a 70, which is complete bull crap if you're driving on this road in the middle of Wyoming. Nobody goes 70, including the stupid cop that pulled me over for speeding. And yeah, exactly. gumball and all this stuff fly through these well, areas a doing a buck get 50. In a lot of times though. A lot of rallies are they have like 50 people pulled over at once and oh, getting yeah. them all um, tickets. Yeah, the rallies get nailed. Yeah.
the Hellcat's happy place, the gas station. So we had to stop because uh, Justin's still losing air in his tire, and out here in the middle of nowhere, Wyoming, it's really hard to find a tire shop at all. Um, so the only one we stopped at had a couple hour wait, so we decided to just put air in it and roll, but yeah, uh, I'm not sure how it's gonna work. <laughs> He's losing like 10 PSI every, what, four or five hours probably at this point. Mm -hmm. So overnight, we're gonna be even more in the middle of nowhere, and then we're gonna wake up and try to go to Yellowstone. He's probably gonna have a flat, but it's got run flats. Quality hardware, and it's a hardware store, but the guy also fixes tires. He's only open till five, so you may wanna call him and say, hey man, I'm in front of, from out of town, got a C8, might have something in my tire. Can you help me out? And then based on him going, a what now? I got you. That's confirmed. No points? No points. No points, so no worry. No points, so very little worry. If they take my license in Wyoming, so if I get pulled over with another big ticket and it's enough for them to take the license, the suspension does carry over to Pennsylvania, but the points don't. So as long as I keep it under however many points you need to get your license revoked in Wyoming, I'm good. According to Keegan, it's 11. He said he can't do it. Yeah, they're afraid of our cars out here. So we've got a lead to potentially get Justin's tire repaired. I'm on hold right now with Walmart Tire Center. Justin also found somebody, but uh, we'll see. Hello. Yes, sir. The guys at Walmart said that they would do it yeah, as long as they have the tire in stock. Do you know what size it is? Uh, it is a 305 3520, I believe. Can you text that to me? And I'll call them and see if they have one in stock, just in case. Um, I'll have Amber text it to you, but I can almost guarantee you they're not going to have this in stock. It's worth a shot. They said they could try and repair it, too. Yeah, I think repair is the best option here. My country, my damn country, give me my country, you can keep the rest. This is my country, my damn country. This is the third, third try at repairing the tire. We're at Bighorn Tire. Where are we at? What stage but also, is while you're watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell, too. Thanks, guys. And also don't forget, when you're leaking air, don't wait 200 miles to fix it. It's not there yet, I don't think. I know, I'm just, I'm just myself, I just prepare myself, I move the seat, we don't do Are you guys fighting? No, we love each other very much. Put a cork in your high school memories. This is my country, my damn country, give me my country, you can keep the rest. Mine's good though? <laughs> I don't know about that, maybe. I'd say about 130 would probably be your max. You're just risking. Oh, damn, you suck! We need a replacement tire. We've replaced him. We've repaired Ben Roethlisberger. He just can't throw the ball as far anymore. No, no. no we, we put lose. some cake. Right. Right. You repaired him. You haven't replaced him. Last Hellcat was averaging 24 on the road trip. I thought I could be competitive. I'm getting 14. There's a big difference. Big difference between the red eye. He was heavy on the last trip. He was in the car. I actually, think, I actually think I drove faster in the purple Hellcat on the last road trip. What do you yeah. think? Absolutely. The it was road, during COVID. The there was nobody perfect. on the road. Well, yeah. I wasn't on that one. No, the top speed is less on the wide body because it, it's less aero. Yeah. 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 But that's well, also standard Hellcat to red eye, so I don't, I don't know. Oh, yeah. There's a difference there, too. What say you? Uh, you uh, happy we got this fixed for you? We? You know what I mean. <laughs> Amber made the call. I was going to say, Amber was the one that did yeah. it. Who I know. I just know it Give wasn't you. Credit. You didn't care about it. You just wanted to fill it the rest of the way. I'm sorry. This guys. is what was causing all of that heartache. 12 PSI overnight from this little guy there. We're going to have to do some research and figure that out ahead of time. Because if we call them at 11, they're going to tell us to go. We're supposed to be there at 9.30. Where are you getting 11 from? You just said it was going to be 11. It probably will be. I got to stop for gas every hour. Uh, We've noticed the noise. There's some weird squeaking. It's not the supercharger line. Almost sounds like a pulley or something. My last Hellcat had to have the supercharger replaced under warranty because of something like a similar kind of noise that just got louder and louder. So maybe this one needs warranty.
We were nervous. We were going to run out of fuel coming down off of the mountain, but all is well. Here we are in town population 260. And we found a gas station that's open. So that's nice. We have 91, which isn't 93, but it's better than 87. Thanks, Joey. Or Valley Motors. We'll take care of you. That place across the street is probably the only place to eat. It looks open, so we're gonna give it a shot. for home by like midnight. Yeah, midnight on Saturday. As long as I can see my baby on Sunday. I just want to see my baby. I don't know what's more American than living in a town with less than 300 people and being the one guy with a Hellcat and then just dragging up and down Main Street because you're bored while you're at the bar with your one other friend. It seems right. So Michael and Molly have accidentally locked themselves out of the room, which is super easy to do with these handles. Michael is stuck with a towel on in the bathroom while <laughs> we're going to try to break into his room. What is that, my man? What do you think of this area? It's nice. We made it to Yellowstone, so that's exciting. And we saw some bison so far. We're hoping to see a moose. So. That's the challenge of the day. Can we find a moose?